usually use a push-pull operation and it's unnecessary to turn the locomotives. But this turntable is made specifically for steam engines and we use it frequently. And coming up on the left side, Jim Thorpe Rail Yard and our turntable. you'll see the popular DNL Trail. This hiking and biking trail, created by the Delaware Lehigh National Heritage Corridor, runs 165 miles from the city of Wilkesbury to Bristol, Pennsylvania, down in Bucks County. During the summer months, thousands of visitors can be seen enjoying the trail, which winds gently through Lehigh Gorge State Park near the Lehigh River. Train's now approaching a busy rail intersection called Nesquahoning Junction. If we were to follow the track to the left, we would travel to the towns of Nesquahoning, Tamaqua, and Reading, crossing over the hometown high bridge. The track that we will travel on to the right will lead us to the Reading and Northern's main line and into the entrance of Lehigh Gordon State Park. Once we've taken the switch, to your left, you'll see the abandoned PQ switch tower that was the control site for trains that traveled through the junction until April of 1972. Coming up, Nesquahoning Junction and DQ Tower. Almost immediately after we pass BQ Tower, our train will be heading out there. over the Nesquahoning so Bridge. We this bridge provides a connection for both train. rail and pedestrians between Jim Thorpe and Lehigh Gorge State Park. Over on the bridge will be 84 feet over the Lehigh River. Looking down the river to the right, way off in the distance, you're just going to be able to make out a piece of the town of East Jim Thorpe. And some stubborn, stubbornly still refer to it as East Ma Chung. On the left side, you'll see a new bridge. This bridge connects Reading and Northern's Reading and Lehigh divisions, and it was constructed by the railroad to expedite moves between Reading and Scranton. It officially opened for rail traffic on February 4th, 2020. In other words, to the left, that bridge is the main line. We're on the Jim Thorpe branch about to switch onto the main line at the Coldport Bridge. Yeah, I can see it later. Yeah, it's later. There's only one house. <laughs> wow, now we're going to cross yet another bridge that crosses the former Lehigh Valley Railroad that was once owned by Asa Packer. 
It passes over the Reading and Northern's Lehigh Bridge, as well as the Norfolk Southern Lehigh Line, Coalport Bridge. Yeah, this, the leaves are already dry. Do it during the winter, the train. Oh. In a few minutes, our train will cross the Lehigh River for a second time on the Glen Oco Bridge. I'll give you a heads up when the engine's out there. When we're on the bridge, look to the right, you'll see a sharp bend in the river where it comes right towards the bridge. At one time, right on that curve in the river, there stood a magnificent hotel called the Hotel Juanita. It was built in 1886 was a four-story luxury hotel and it was one of the highlights in the area. It boasted 47 elegant rooms as well as dining areas, tennis courts, and an 84-foot long bar. Guests to the hotel were able to take in the sights along the Lehigh River and Glen Oco while also enjoying horse and carriage rides. But in 1911, fast-moving brush fire destroyed the hotel and the land was left to be reclaimed by Mother Nature. Not a trace of that hotel stands today. But also we're out on the bridge, and again, I'll give you a heads up. I want to have you turn almost around in your seat and look over your right shoulder, and you're going to see on the face of the mountain the old Jersey Central Tunnel. It was very busy until the trains got too high and too wide. Our engine's on the bridge now. Be ready to turn your seat if you're riding facing forward at the face of the mountain. And you'll see the tunnel packed out of solid granite by Irish immigrants. Ah, if you missed it, we'll catch it on the way back. It'll still be there. 